What is good, guys? What is good, guys? Thank you for tuning back into the channel, man. Hit that bell to be notified for every video that I drop, man. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Listen, man. As y'all can see by the title, six signs that you have a soul tie with somebody. If you don't believe in soul ties, they are very, very much real. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be in and out of everybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anywho, man, let's go ahead and jump into the video, man. And let's see what he's talking about. Because uh, this is some education for me and for you, too. Six signs that you have an ungodly soul tie. Now, a soul tie is a strong spiritual and emotional connection you have with someone after being intimate with them, usually engaging in sexual intercourse. Now, there are good soul ties wow. and bad soul ties. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 44 that Jacob's life was tied to Benjamin. It's like a connection that he had with his son. And in fact, one of his other sons was saying that if Benjamin is to be no more, Jacob will die. That's a bad soul tie. We see David had a soul tie to Jonathan. His soul was knit to Jonathan. But when Jonathan died, we don't see that David died. You know, it was a healthy, it's like this friendship that he had with his close friend. We see that the tribe of Judah was knit to their king in 2 Samuel chapter 20, verse 2. We see that Shechem was strongly attached to the daughter of Jacob because of this sexual intercourse that they had in Genesis chapter 34, verse 3. Honestly, I didn't know that you can catch soul ties by having intercourse with somebody. I did not know that. So now you can't just kiss any and everybody either. I did not know that. And we see as Christians in Colossians chapter 2 verse 2 in Colossians chapter 2 verse 19 that we as believers are knit together. That talks about this close connection that we have to each other. Your soul is important to God. God wants you to worship Him with all of your soul according to Matthew 22 verse 37. God actually wants to restore our soul in Psalm 23 verse 3. Why? Because the devil when he attacks us, he doesn't just attack our spirit by causing us to die in our spirit, doesn't just attack our body, he also wants to tear our soul to pieces. According to Psalm chapter 7 verse 2, it says, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rendering it to pieces while there is none to deliver. And so one of the ways that the enemy attacks our soul many times is through soul ties. Now here are six signs that you could have a demonic, ungodly, bad soul tie that Let's needs to be broken. It. Number one is when you have an unhealthy attachment of a person. Sometimes it could be with a parent to their child and with their child with their parent. Example that I've used is Jacob to Benjamin. Other sons said that if Benjamin is to be no more, Jacob will die. It's when you have this unhealthy, now all parents love their children, but when, you, when it's unhealthy attachment to your children, you can't let it go. Or if something happens with your child and that's it and you're done, you want to end your life, you can't live anymore, you can't let it go. It could be a sign that you have an unhealthy soul tie that needs to be broken. A second sign... It I ain't lying, man. <laughs> There's a lot of soul ties in this family. Like, well, I try to, you know, I try to get away from them anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that a lot of y'all got some unhealthy soul ties with people that you love in your family. And everybody say stick to stick together because it's your family. Nah, forget all that. Family or not. If it's unhealthy for me, we breaking away from that. I don't care about that. It's when you have an obsession. So first one is when you have an unhealthy attachment. Second one is when you have an obsession with the person. Now sometimes this specially deals with a person in authority. It could be a pastor or a mentor or it could be somebody that you had a relationship with before. Maybe it was an ex-boyfriend or maybe it was your ex-husband and the relationship did not work out and you can't live. It's not just that grieving period that you're experiencing after this relationship has ended but it's been a long time and you're obsessing. You're, you're, you're only constantly thinking about that person. You can't live without that person. And maybe you receive that soul tie by being with them. You committed your soul and they now you're heartbroken. And God wants to set you free from that. God wants you to move on. God wants you to move into the next. And God wants you to let go of the things that you've experienced in your past and develop healthy soul ties with people in your future. Yeah, I've been through it, man. You know what I'm saying? In my last, last, you know, my last relationship, man. Well, I felt like I couldn't let this person go, even though I was getting treated wrong, getting treated bad, 
getting treated bad by the family and whatnot. And I still wanted to make it work. You know what I'm saying? It went above and beyond when I seen all the signs that I should let go. Gotta let go of something that is not good for you. You know what I'm saying? That that is a very that was a very unhealthy soul tie for me, man. But it took prayer. It took stuff happening to me. You know what I'm saying? For me to be able to break that soul tie, man. Hey. Instead of being dragged on into your past by the people of your past. Number three sign is when you are taking on the traits of another person Ooh, that you wow. have a soul ties, addictions, attitudes, even particular mannerism. Sometimes people will begin to, you know, defend that person and they will begin to act out the very habits that the person that they are having an attachment and obs I ain't gonna lie, man. Like before I met some people that was in my life, I, I used to be this. I'm still outgoing and stuff like that, but far as like, I'm talking about the goofiness, like, it's like my, I'm still goofy, but my goofiness don't wear it down. My, it's like a part of my personality and my goofiness left me when I met these certain people, man. And I can see that. It's like my communication when it comes to talking to other people. I can still talk to other people, but my person, part of my personality has left. Because, I mean, them relationships, man, they, they really mess your boy up. You know what I'm saying? And... Honestly, man, uh, when we in an unhealthy relationship, it can take so much from us, man, that we look like a whole new different person. You know what I'm saying? We can admire a person so much and want to be just like them in a the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because we love them so much, you know, but yeah. Session and assault I with, you begin to act like them. You begin to talk like them. You begin to have exactly the same attitude. You begin to have exactly the same habits as they had. You begin to have same problems that they do. You begin to actually, sometimes it's actually demons that will attack your life through a soul tie. It's like you get the portion of that person's soul in you and you need to kind of disconnect from that. You need to get rid of that. You need to let go of that through forgiveness, through renouncing and sometimes removing different objects that you have had from that person's life. Number four, it's when you are remaining in an abusive relationship and you're mm. defending a person who harms you. When you are remaining Crazy. in a relationship that is destroying it. you, everybody sees it. Everybody's warning you. You need to walk away from this person. You need to let go of this person. But you're literally stuck in this syndrome, in this thing where you are still defending that person and you don't know why. It could be that there is an emotional and spiritual soul tie that you need to break and walk away from. The fifth sign that you have an ungodly soul tie is when you're having reoccurring dreams, thoughts and fantasies of this person from your past. It could be a friend, it could be your ex, it could be a pastor, it could be a parent, it could be somebody that you were with. There's a reoccurring dreams, there's reoccurring thoughts and fantasies of the past that you have had with this person and that could be a sign that you have not broken off those soul ties. The sixth sign that you have on God the soul ties is when you have in possession an object from the past relationship and you're not able to throw it away. You're literally like obsessed with that object because that object is really what those gifts, those jewelries and those notes and sometimes even photos, they're the ones that keeping you connected to that person. And people who have soul ties typically have a hard time throwing away those objects and those things that connect them to that person they had a soul tie with. I want to encourage you today. If you find yourself in that place that you ask the Holy Spirit to examine your heart and that you ask the Lord to forgive you for any way you have let yourself into that soul tie. Maybe it happened through sexual sin. Maybe it happened through some other things that you were involved. You disobeyed the counsel and the wisdom of people who were telling you, hey, don't go into that friendship. Go on, don't go into that relationship. But you still did it your way. That you repent of that. That you also extend forgiveness to the person who maybe has taken advantage of you. A person maybe who has misled you, lied to you and it resulted in that soul tie. Throw away any objects that get you connected with that person and honestly renounce that soul tie. Renounce any power or influence that person has over your heart and soul and begin to reconnect with believers, friends, church, a small group so that you can develop healthy relationships by which you can grow and most importantly fall in love with Jesus with all of your soul. Jesus wants you to love Him not just with your spirit but with your body, 
with your mind and guess what with your soul but it's hard to do that if your soul is fragmented if your soul is broken into million pieces and it belongs a little bit of it belongs to this person a little bit of it belongs to that person a little bit of it belongs to that person get it all back and give it to the Lord and let Jesus be the object of your affection obsession and pursuit father I pray for every person watching this video that you will give him your grace